Hello YouTube, this is Puck. In this video, you will get information of how to install the latest operating system of Microsoft Windows 10 on a MacBook White 13 inch 4.1 of late 2008. Today I'm going to show you how to create a bootable refit USB stick. You're like, refit USB stick? What is that? Well, a refit USB stick will let you boot uh, from a Mac. And uh, for instance, you just installed a new hard drive uh, and you have no DVD drive. Then probably you can just pop in your Mac uh, USB bootable stick and then hit option and boot up from that that will go just fine but um, if you want to install for instance Windows 10 like in my case then you uh, might want to boot from a bootable USB stick or a bootable DVD but then you will need something to boot from and a boot selector will let you um, choose and do that and refit is one of them so that's why we're gonna do refit so what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna hit uh, restore and we're gonna restore refit to the USB drive that is this one you see that and then we're just gonna hit restore and then erase put in the put in your administrator password and there you go box has been copied and there you go the stick is done as you can see the stick also shows uh, refit so at this point we can uh, remove the USB stick so let's eject and this stick will now be bootable uh, on any Mac uh, by holding the option key option key that is the alt on your Mac just hit alt while, while turning the computer on and keep holding alt until you until you see the refit sign logo and just uh, select that and boot your Mac from refit uh, make sure you already had your uh, Windows installer uh, uh, USB or DVD inserted into the Mac so you can uh, choose uh, that one for installation installing via USB booting in refit the USB Windows 10 bootable was not working on the MacBook 4.1 I have no idea why I tried the 32-bit and the 64-bit so I gave up and just used my installer DVD the one that I burned, a bootable ISO from the installer. When holding option and booting with the USB stick, you will come into this menu. In this menu, just go all the way down and make sure that you let refit fix the partition. It will ask, can refit fix this for you? Just let it go and do the do. And then select your uh, drive where you have the DVD inserted and just wait a while and then your installer will start booting there you go this is the installer it's booting up get yourself a cookie enjoy the installing and just let this part go it might have some waiting time there for you I skipped that a bit in the video but here you can then start your installer make sure that you remove all the drives that you will find in the advanced uh, installing up there we're gonna continue first select our currency we are in the Netherlands etc do these setups if you're in another country set your current uh, I have everything on English uh, American keyboard um, and English language so that all is being set here and then we go to the next step we hit install and this is very important peeps because in the next step we will choose to do express install or advance install and you can see it's uh, taking a while to boot up 
to get to the next part and there we go here we must insert our serial number so let's do that and then continue to the next part okay we insert the product code for Windows 10 and continue to the next step where we can do advanced install we will delete all the partitions because we want to install Windows 10 as the only operating system on this MacBook. So go ahead, delete them all until you have one drive left, select that one, hit text. Welcome back. So we booted with a refit and we have a CD in there. It's a 10130. It's the only one I had on CD. It's by the way the 32-bit and I'm booting it on the 64-bit. Um, MacBook 4.1 this is uh, the MacBook white 13 inch 4.1 does has a 40 a 64 bit processor so you know um, but yeah I only had the 32 bit so it booted and we also had a long delay with a stocked Mac for at least four minutes until the procedure continued and we got into the installer screen removed all the drives and well yesterday I also did it with another uh, version the 10,000 I think the 162 but somewhere at 93% I got an error telling me it could not be installed that the CD had faults on it so I knew that this CD was okay, so I popped it in. We are at 97% and soon we will go to the installing of the features. There we go. 100% installed, installing features. Installing updates, finishing up. Okay, so we will get a reboot now. And this is... Uh... Now at the reboot, just hold down the Option key, the Alt, on your, on your Mac. Hold it down. And then it will boot and show the drive. I was on no one here, so I just left the USB refit uh, on its place in the machine. And at a certain point, it will, you know, boot itself from the refit and then refit will show. And then you will have a bunch of uh, uh, boot up possibilities. And the one that you should choose is the one saying boot from boot windows from hard disk. But by holding the option key, it will be way easier because then the drive will pop up together with the CD-ROM drive and of course the refit bootable USB so then of course you will just hit the hard drive and boot from that that will take away a lot of delay and uh, if you don't do anything and choose the right disk then of course it will boot up as well from out refit but in fact you don't need refit anymore because Windows already did something uh, with its own EVI and the old EVI of the Mac uh, resulting not in a folder with a question mark this time uh, on the 4.1 but in a white screen and if you don't do anything after 20 seconds it will automatically then boot Windows but you can speed up that process by holding down the Alt or the Option key on your uh, MacBook and hold it down uh, when you start up the MacBook until you see the hard drive the hard disk with windows on it and just select that one and boot from there to continue the installation but at this part peeps uh, the devices are getting ready we can look at the whole process the whole time but I'll get uh, back to you if something important happens we are rebooting peeps yep we're rebooting reboot. but because i was unknown i did not hold down the option key so i get here into a black screen not knowing what's going on and i'm just thinking hey what's crack lacking so what we had to do up here was just hold down the option key select the windows drive again 
and just hit it to continue the installation. I will spare you this black screen. So we did not use refit anymore. We did not need refit. And I think at this point we're gonna get one more reboot, I think. Black screen continuing. Gonna set up more devices, I think. Okay, there you are. As you can see, uh, we did it, peeps. Um, I'm gonna set up this uh, this machine, and uh, you know I'm gonna get back to you after this is done. And this is the Win Book Ten. So we go next, the instruction intended memory, memory could not be read, click OK to terminate the program. So hi, it's going to set up the, the screens. This is very strange machine for real. I don't know what will work and what will not work. This won't take long setting up your apps, you know how it goes Microsoft. Bo bo bo, and that on a mid MacBook 4.1. You go, go baby. And in fact, um, yeah, this will be, of course, a test video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this. I might install my Windows 8.1 on here because I'm not using it at all. On my tablets I have Windows 10 so in fact uh, yeah the Windows 8 DVD is eating dust hey and look there she is and uh, we can see Wow Wow sound is installed out of the box my people look at that sound say something ding 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 I do hear you say something baby Ting, 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 ting. Well, I don't hear the sound. Let's look under the engine. Do we have right mouse click? Of course not, not yet. Do we have Wi-Fi? Of course we have Wi-Fi. So, um, let me set up this system a little bit because this is still kind of confusing to me not very good to see but in the device manager we have two unknown devices at least two devices that need to be fixed that's the video driver and an unknown device I found out that the unknown device is the eyesight cam the camera and we have a driver for that in the extra package so check out the description for that about the video driver you won't have to do anything about that just connect to the internet and um, do a that driver upgrade and let it search for a driver at the Microsoft site the driver will be installed as the 965 Intel family as you will see in this video now we need to fix the drivers the video drivers will be fixed by Microsoft the other unknown driver is the eyesight cam. Go into the extra drivers that you can download from out my description, from my media fire, and look for the eyesight. Run it with administrator rights, right mouse click administrator right. To be able to click right mouse click, you will first have to connect uh, uh, yeah, external USB mouse to your Mac so you can get into the right mouse click right mouse click run as administrator also do that for the keyboard and mouse pad uh, package that you find in there and um, you will have 
right mouse click also check out the pad I, i'm gonna make an extra video of how to install these drivers because it was not showing too good in this video so that's why i'm overdubbing it and explaining what i'm doing up here but in fact only the eyesight uh, driver you need and of course the keyboard and mouse pad drivers so you can get right mouse click on your macbook as well so that's it go ahead fix them reboot and you will be up and running okay we just got the mouse and it's even installed so we go to the apple eyesight installer right mouse click run as administrator yes at this point shinasepa if this will go right next i accept fully guilty so let's look what will happen here if we see something happening here Yep, you see that? EyeSight is installed. So we fixed that. Only thing is uh, the screen. We cannot uh, fix the screen because we don't have the 3100 driver. So this is fixed. Uh, this is the trackpad. We're gonna install the trackpad, run as administrator. So out of the extra drivers that uh, I also provided in my previous video for the install on 1.1 At least you will be able to update some stuff. So now we should have right mouse click with the mouse You see that I have right mouse click yay and then uh, Pet set, I don't even know what that is. Pet set, ah, okay. Disable drag, disable tap to click. Uh, default settings, let's click that one. Default settings, yes, please. The keys were set successfully into the register. So, uh apple keyboard installer we can also do that one and run as administrator maybe we will get the volume buttons to work should accept it next okay apple keyboard installed Even regarding the capacity, yes, so uh, device manager. So this all looks really good. So do we have sound up, sound up, sound down? No trabajo. At least we can type. So only the video controller, the X3100 from Intel. That will be uh, updated by Intel the cells, I think. So let's also connect to some network here. So connect.
So we're rebooting and then you will get into a wide screen. If you don't want to get into this wide screen and want to boot faster, I already told you, you must hold down the option key as soon as you hear the bang, you know, hold down the option key until you see the hard drive, hit the hard drive and continue. However, if you don't do that, you will get into this wide screen. And in fact, this wide screen that I'm showing you in real time, this is how long it will take, is in fact a fight between the EVI of Windows and the EVI of Apple. As you could see, the fight between the old EVI for Mac and the new EVI for Windows was that white screen what you saw. And if you don't do anything, if you just let them do the do. So up here we don't get a folder with a question mark, just like in the 1.1. But in here we get um, a white screen, a white screen of waiting. And then after waiting probably one minute, this is the legal waiting time that WinBook 10 should wait. Because this is still a Mac of course. So Mac has a little bit waiting time. Also very uh, deprecated Mac, Macbook. Real Mac users don't even want Macbooks like this anymore. It's us, the non-havers and the old Windows users that find it interesting to use an old Macbook like this. Mm. Well, well, well. Bonjour, ma chérie. Vous regardez très 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 belle. Ah ah ah. Sound works out of the box. Wi-Fi works out of the box. Only the eyesight you need to install, and of course, your um, your mouse and the eyesight and the uh, keyboard. Uh, but do we have sound? I did not hear any sound. Did you hear sound peeps? I didn't hear any sound, man. So I think we don't even have sound. This thing is saying that it has sound, but you know, so let's use the Edge browser to go on the internet. And thank you there for uh, activate, activating me, uh, Microsoft. I know that uh, you're not activating at this point anymore, but as you could see, my version got activated by Microsoft probably because of my IP address and because I have many Windows 10 machines here in the testing. So I still got an activation from Uncle Microsoft. So thank you for that, my friends, my dear, dear friends. What was I doing? I forgot. Oh yes, I was going on the internet. Oh, look what is happening. My screen is being fixed, ladies and gentlemen. My screen has just been fixed by Microsoft. So let's take a look at that. We go to properties. By the way, guys, um, let me tell you something. If you fix the right mouse click, if you install the software and you want to hit right, right mouse click, I'm going to show you a trick how to, how to, uh, oh, no, the video controller was not installed. So let's look, cause it's in fact the Intel driver. So we're gonna say update the driver and search automatically for driver online. Installing driver, there you go, there you go people. Look at that, successfully 965. Eh, eh. This is why it's the X3100 card on the Mecca. So look, 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 look there peeps. Everything is installed. You see that? No exclamination marks, as you can see, my ladies and gentlemen. So, um, here you can see we are activated. Thumbs up, Microsoft, because you're not activating. Look at my date. The date is uh, 15. It's, by the way, my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mommy. I love you. So, um, yeah. We have a 32-bit operating system on the X64 base processor. The install procedure 
was um, in fact it went wrong and then I was stuck with a, a drive that could not be you know doing nothing anymore and I didn't want to go and install Mac first and then refit again so I we created the refit bootable USB stick that's what we did we booted with refit and we just pointed to the CD and we did the install from the CD just like that we fixed the drivers with the extra drivers in the pack the extra drivers that we used in the pack that were necessary to use were the Apple iSight installer, the Apple keyboard installer, and the Apple trackpad installer. The pad set we run to run the uh, to run the settings. So uh, the original settings uh, of the keyboard and and the pad. So if you hit right mouse click, as you can see, nothing happens. It takes a while. You want to click two, three times before it comes up. If you want it to come up immediately, you just put your two fingers on the pad. You press and you move. You just move away from the point that you're, that you're, so what you're doing, fingers on the pad, right mouse click and move. You see, then you get immediately into the right mouse click. You see that? I found that out today. Well, not today. I found it out a while ago because you know I really find it really annoying so I have right mouse click under one second I only have to make a little move and then immediately it goes to the right mouse click so peeps I can say this project is successfully successfully uh, finished I'm coming back for a second just to show you that uh, I'm updating now from 1030 to 10,162 and uh, I still had the 32-bit ISO uh, lying around the one that I installed on my tablet and I just copied the the ISO file to the desktop the running desktop of the uh, build 10,130 and I unpacked it and run the setup from off the desktop and it upgraded I think this is how the upgrade will also look uh, if you're gonna upgrade to Windows 10, I'm almost there and uh, if this is done, I'm gonna show it to you Boom There you go 10,162 were updated And Our toolbar is back To the bottom And here you can see if you put the toolbar at the bottom then the Windows 10 preview thing um, message comes through it, eh? but if you put it on top, then it's gone. You see? Wow! I'm really happy. So let's see if it's activated. That's the most important thing for me. Microsoft Windows is activated, my friends. There you go. Thumbs up there, Microsoft. Okay, we installed Windows 10 on the MacBook 4.1. It went just fine. We had some other little issues popping up. Didn't want to boot from bootable USB stick. We did the install from the 130 DVD, this one. And we upgraded that again to 162 and even got activated. Uh, a day after Microsoft decided to stop activating new machines this MacBook did pass the activation so I want to say thank you there Microsoft thank you there for watching if you think this video um, was cool because uh, it's the first one showing a complete install of the MacBook white 4.1 installing and running Windows 10 as only operating system everything works sleep works you know it works just like a real Windbook. So that's how we're going to call it the Windbook 10. Thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, and see you again in my next project.